It's time to let's talk. Returnal. PS5 uh, exclusive game. It's PlayStation Studios. Every single PlayStation Studios game, I think, has been pretty damn good so far. I was a little worried about like uh, like Death Stranded, but that one even came out pretty good. So um, they're on a very good track record with PlayStation Studios. Uh, Returnal looks like it might be a little more of a loot base. Sure. Uh, I think Godfall was possibly a first party title. I'm not quite sure on that one, but I know most people didn't really click with Godfall. So I'm really curious to see what the hell Returnal does. Godfall was the hack and slash loot shooter um, with a little bit of shooting mechanics. This one is full on shooting mechanics with some puzzles or something in it from what I've seen. I don't know. Um, so let's check this out um, and see what the hell Returnal even is. I, I actually don't know what the hell this game actually is. So let's see. Boot. The, the blonde Ripley? Acquired a Xenotype weapon. Similar to a our Xenotype? Technology. Aliens? <laughs> Definitely Alien aliens. technology discovered. Augments my weapon with an alternative firing mechanism. Highly effective. This will be useful. Definitely run that lock solid 60. This seems very Mass Effect and drama. So. Encountered a small life form. Ah. It is parasitically attached to my arm. Does not appear hostile. Somehow, it's strengthening and weakening my suit. Um. A broken automaton clutching potential tool adding to equipment. Oh, uh, I was really hoping that turned to like a lightsaber. <laughs> oh, so there's gonna be like some horror aspects in there of returning home and stuff. I don't know. I don't know how to feel on that. Um, very Mass Effecty, right? Like Andromeda, a, a lot of Andromeda. I'm, I'm seeing in that um, connecting systems together to to connect to the world and everything. Um, it looks like maybe weapons that are made organically or something. Uh, frame rates looking really good. I give it that. This is very. This is gonna be very much like a um, sponge. You know, sponge shooter. Like you, you're gonna shoot the hell out of enemies until you get some decent weapons. You're gonna be sitting there a while on a boss fight until you figure out like, okay, this is overpowered. This is overpowered. Then you're just gonna start just wrecking shit. Uh, running around grabbing the obelisks. That's you know. It's, Hit button, make point come alive. Uh, shield vial. So there's a bunch of upgrades and everything. What you can't see is the is the hood. My my camera's right over top of the hood, but um, there's not much to see there. It's just a health bar and like an XP bar. Uh, interesting story mechanic with the parasite. We'll see what where that leads to. I don't know. I'm not not exactly sold on this one. Um, this looks like it could be very repetitive very quickly it looks like you could be just running around just doing the exact same thing for a few hours and get bored with it um, unless the story really ramps up and, and like makes makes for a really good you know interesting um, adventure 
this game looks like it could easily fall flat on its face. Now, seeing that there's swords, so there's some hack and slash, there's some shooting abilities in here that could definitely make a difference um, depending on how crazy the combat gets. It could be really cool. I don't know. Um, I'm not totally sold, but I'm not totally, you know, I don't hate it. I don't love it. It's just kind of there. So that's kind of one of those worst things to have is you don't really know. What is it? It's house torque or something is, is the, the logo right there. Um, house marquee. Okay. Um, I don't know. We'll see. I got, I'd, I would want to see, is there a story trailer for this? Returnal gameplay combat trailer announcement trailer. What, what was the story on this? What's can I get in a two for one video right now? I can't remember if I even seen over this. Over. I did. Diana from Hitman. She has one black, one blue eye. Okay. The attack. My death. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay, I do remember this trailer. My death. Over and over and over and over again. Trapped. no escape each time I awake this planet seems somehow different as if changing this world is becoming part of me infecting my mind so we just seen something very interesting with a game called Hades that, that happened um, where every time you die that the world changes around you and then you have this whole like RNG whether or not you can get through. If this game turns out to be something like a Hades where it's like RNG on all your upgrades and everything as you're running through each stage of it, but it looks like this and it plays like this, that could be really crazy. That could be very interesting. Not quite sure what the whole synopsis says on it. It sounds very much like that's what it could end up being. Is um you're you're trying to you're trying to escape off in this planet instead of escape in hell, you're trying to escape from the planet, you know. Um, and then you are you are getting together all these weapons, getting together all these abilities, and then finally, haha, I beat the over the overseer of the planet or whatever, and and maybe that just escapes you off to another planet and then or something i don't know um yeah i don't i i think i do want to check it out um re being reminded of the story of this and just exactly what's the, the reason why you give a shit um that's 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 such a key thing i don't know i'll check it out i'll check it out um seems like it could be as almost interesting as as a death stranding was of like just what the hell? Okay. And then when you start playing it, you're like, oh, I get it now. You know, like Death Stranding, you have to play it and try and get around the, the um, traversal of it to understand it. This is going to be one of these games where you have to play it and actually figure out, you know, how how hard is it to get through everything. That's one of the, the key features of Hades. It's not an easy game. It, you have to literally work at it and get your strategy down to beat the whole game in one run. If... This turns out to be something like that. It could be really cool. It could fall flat on its face also, but um, I don't know. Maybe that might be a trend going forward, like an uh, like active RNG, as I was saying in, a, in another Let's Talk video that they should start doing. Um, you know, the Battle Royale active RNG thing is starting to rub off onto other genres of games, namely story-driven games. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. Anyways, we'll see what happens with it.